My name is Heather Widener. I have four children, Annabelle, TJ, Trinity, and Simeon. I've been attending New Life since 2013. I work as an emergency room nurse at Avira St. Luke's Hospital. Our family has changed over the years in that I met my husband right out of college and we got married. I had kids and uh, in 2019 he passed away in a hunting accident. Uh, my husband's death was very sudden um, so there was no preparation for that but I feel like there are things that you just know like you know you'll have to deal with grief that you know I have to do with that. What caught me off guard and what has been Probably the biggest lessons God has been teaching me through this are just the transition into single parenthood. It's something that's very difficult to explain, I guess, to other people. And it just makes this church family environment that much more important, especially uh, making sure my, my kids have male influence of people that I know and I can trust and um, just support systems there. Wednesday night meals just make life so much easier for us because it's just one less thing I have to do to get them into this door. I just mean, it takes that responsibility off my plate and offers me a chance to just enjoy the meal with my family. I think that the Wednesday night meals offer just an opportunity for people to come into the church. Um, very not intimidating in sorts. It's not a class, it's not a lesson. It's just a time to be together with your family, to meet other families, have the meal, um, just kind of feel out the whole situation and the environment before you're entrusting your kids to someone else or sitting down yourself in a class. To those people who help make those meals possible, thank you very much, whether it's donors or cooks, whatever, thank you. <laughs>four years now. My attitude has, has been has been changed and my heart's been softened for for people that have less than than us. And it's not because they don't work or harder or it's just because of where what country you're born in. And the more we go over there the more the more need there seems to be. Some of the small kids that first started a lot of those kids were eight and 10 years old at that time, and now they're 18 and 20 year olds now and act, want to go into mission work. So the dream has come true. God's hand is in this, and we know that without our support that that probably wouldn't have happened. To see them grow faster than what we're actually growing, you know, in, in, uh, in Christ. It's the first time that I've ever given to missions and have actually been able to to go and see what what our efforts are doing. It's just really been an eye-opening experience for me as far as as to see see how God has, has really blessed those people and how how they res respond to Christ. Uh, they they just they're just really on fire for Jesus there and the Peruvian people are just they're just really good people and and uh, they, they, they just love Jesus. <laughs> it's like all of us. So anybody that's considering supporting the mission over in Peru, it's well worth it. It's uh, supporting Christ's work. It's all, all of Osmar's dreams and all of our dreams that God has provided Osmar and, and our church is, is all coming true. And there's this, uh, kids are coming and uh, the uh, parents are coming, and uh, every lot of lot of lives are being changed over there because of because of our our um, support. My name is Scott Stoutenberg, and I'm the director of student engagement for a group called Destiny Rescue. We are a Christian nonprofit. Um, what we do is we go out and we find kids that are being trafficked, um, being sexually exploited, and we find ways to rescue them. Right now, human trafficking is one of the top criminal enterprises on planet Earth. It makes $150 billion a year on average. 99 billion of that is from sex trafficking. That averages out to $11.3 million an hour, every hour of every day. Since we started rescuing in 2011, we have rescued 
13,339 victims. This year alone, Destiny Rescue has been able to rescue 2,007 victims. Many children that we rescue in Africa are orphaned and they are left in charge as a 10, 11, 12 year old of their five and six year old siblings. So they go out voluntarily and trade themselves so that they can feed their own children and their siblings. The average cost of a rescue is $1,500. And I know that New Life has set a goal of rescuing 10 children, which would be $15,000. What I would say to someone considering a contribution to Destiny Rescue is this. There are not that many times in your life when you can say, today I saved a life. But this is one of those. This is a time when you can stand up and save the life of a child. My name is Mac McGarity. I'm the director uh, and lead uh, administrator of Casa Girasoles, or the Sunflower Home in Iquitos, Peru. Our mission is to see societal change through leadership and, and raising these children to be God-fearing men and uh, Christian leaders within Iquitos, Peru. Orphans in Peru, and specifically Iquitos, will normally turn to the, the sex trade or prostitution to eat. Um, if it's not prostitution or selling their bodies, it's normally robbing um, food just right out of the market and, and running away to hide until hunger drives them out to, to repeat the process. So we currently have 13 children and young men at the home, ages 7 to 18. Um, these children come to us from the government that some of them have been found on the streets, others have been um, rescued from their homes. Society in Iquitos uh, is very particular in the way that these children that are living on the streets, the, the street children, are treated as the rats um, or, or trash, garbage of society, um, are, are made fun of and beaten. If the police are called, the police will just get there and, and abuse them into hiding until they are driven out by hunger again. Every morning we wake up and dive into God's Word um, which the boys are always excited to hear a fresh, clean, new message um, in our devotions every day. So us as a home and as a family, we depend uh, solely on our financial backers, uh, partners, churches, families, and individuals that support us uh, with monetary donations. A donation of $120,000 will allow us to procure the property, uh, transfer the title, and operate as a organization here in Iquitos and, and continue serving and raising and providing a safe home for children for many years to come in the future. This year, we are excited more than ever to see God's work in our church through this venue of Kingdom Builders. And so for the last 18 years, we've seen God move in a powerful way through this ministry. We've seen lives changed. We've seen uh, people's families hearing the gospel, responding to the gospel, getting baptized, getting saved. And then we've been able to have a culture of not just being blessed, but to be a blessing to others because that's what Christ calls us to. So this year for Kingdom Builders, as we hit our million dollar mark, we are not slowing down. Our ask is 235,000 and we're going to see lives change, not just in our community, as we're feeding people here, as uh, we're also looking abroad and continuing to fund the churches and new life in Peru and the orphanage that you've already heard about and the ministry that's involved in sex trafficking, Destiny Rescue. We are believing that God is going to continue to do uh, what he's called us to do. Whether you've been here six months or 18 years, there are some things we do at this church where we have all hands on deck, where we're all working together, where we're all believing in the same mission and vision of disciple making. And Kingdom Builders is that thing. We are all about seeing lives changed. And so as you're praying through in the next few weeks how God wants you to personally respond, you and your family, and as we're striving towards reaching this missional goal of making it not about ourselves, but reaching people that are less than us, that are hurting, that are broken, that desperately need Jesus, be thinking in terms of God, how do you want to use me? And how do you want to use my family and, and an individual level to make a collective difference at New Life? Thank you so much 
for your willingness to partner in the gospel.